Welcome to video number three in the Toyota Supra technical series. In this video, we're going to be looking at accessing ISTA information without a vehicle present and looking more into ABLs. In the previous video, we learned what an ABL was and we did guided diagnostics on a DTC. In this video though, we're going to access diagnostic information on ISTA without a vehicle present. And then we're going to explore the different types of ABLs besides just the diagnostic ABLs. If you remember from the previous video, an ABL, what was it? It simply is a procedure. Okay, so we know that diagnostic information is available on ISTA only. It's not on TIS. So the question becomes, is what if we had a scenario when we, where we needed to actually access information that was on ISTA, but do not have a vehicle that's present? Now, if you remember from our previous videos, as we created a case and communicated with the vehicle, we worked across the four tabs here at the top. Uh, we started at creating the case, accessing the vehicle information, and then in vehicle management is where a lot of our information was stored. And then if we had a DTC, a service plan was created to uh, correct the situation or, or, or diagnose the situation. So, if we don't have a vehicle present, here's a solution. I can click on cases and notice that we have new, closed, and active. And down here it was readout vehicle data. In this situation, I'm going to go ahead and hit type code. Now, type code, I can use a certain code from the VIN that allows me to access ISTA. Here's an example of a super VIN right here. Notice that it is broken down into its different portions. What we're going to use to access ISTA is this Toyota model code, this DB4C. We'll type that into the type code bar and access ISTA that way. Okay, so our code from the VIN was DB4C. And then I'm going to hit Open Operation. Here it's going to only po populate the information specifically for this model of vehicle. Now, it will not be complete, therefore all of our information will not be complete. Also a warning with that is that I will not be able to access diagnostic ABLs simply because it's not communicating with a vehicle. Okay, so we can see that there are certain portions of information during identification that are not available due to the fact that we do not have it hooked up to a vehicle but we'll still be able to access information regardless. So I can access this information in a number of different ways. First of all, I can go ahead and hit search information. Notice it took us from vehicle information over to vehicle management, where a lot of this diagnostic and procedural information is found. However, I can also just simply click on vehicle management. So I'm trying to find some information concerning the air pressure sensor, just as an example. So here under vehicle management, here's document search, and listed here is a lot of information concerning different systems or components of the vehicle. This can be rather cumbersome to try to filter through. So we're going to go ahead and take first a look at the text search and service functions and troubleshooting tabs. Let's start out with troubleshooting. Now, here in troubleshooting, uh, there is a text search as well. So I want to find about, out about the intake pressure sensor. So here in text search, I'm going to go ahead and search in documents as well. And I'm just going to keep it broad and just say intake. And then start search. Okay, so it's starting to pull up a lot of documents that contain the word intake on it. I can see FUBs, I can see ABLs, what else we got in here? Uh, looks like we've got some EBOs, 
uh, things like that. Uh, no SSPs though. But let's start with the FEV. So that right there is the intake air pressure and, and uh, temperature sensor. I'm going to click on that and then hit display. Okay, here is my functional description of the intake air pressure sensor. Tells me all about the terminals. Tell me tells me all about how how uh, it functions, how it operates by the variable voltage, and also gives me some diagnostic instructions and information as well. Cool. So let's see what else we get from here. Uh, I would like to take a look at the wiring diagram. However, it did not show it here. Uh, we do see an EBO that came up on based on that. Let's click on it. Okay, so remember the EBO is the component location picture. And it's showing me where on the engine it's located and uh, gives me uh, both the component name, the B439, as well as its co connector, which is B4391B. Good to know. However, it did not come up with the wiring diagram. Now, here's a little helpful hint. If you don't remember SSP or EBO or FUB or anything of that, that uh, nature, let's, let's see how we can get a reminder. Right here, if I click on filter, I can see that here's different types of information along with their acronym. And I want specifically the wiring diagram. Uh, so I could try a number of different things, but I'm going to go about this a different way. Okay, I'm going to go back to vehicle management, and right here, I'm going to go to function structure. Now, function structure tab is where the majority of our ABLs, FUBs, uh, SSPs, EBOs, all of that information concerning diagnosis is located. And it gives us the categories of drive, chassis, body, driver assistance, and then functional wiring diagrams. Now, specifically, I can do it this way. I can drill down into it further, or I can simply just click on drive, and it's going to pull up everything here to the side concerning everything in the drive category. Okay, so it's brought up for me, ABLs. Notice they're all grayed out because we're not connected to a vehicle. And what else? There's FUBs. Here's going to be that uh, the FUBs concerning air supply and intake system. What else? Okay, now I get to some, some SSPs, or in other words, wiring diagrams here close to the end. And right there is my SSP for air supply. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, looks like that one for air supply is going to be my the one I'm going to want to go to. Okay, here is my wiring diagram for the air supply. Um, I'm going to make sure that's selected and I'm going to zoom in. Hey, there is my intake manifold pressure sensor right there, my B439. And here I can go ahead and click on this just as I did in video number two to find out more information concerning connectors, wires, their purposes, and then also terminal numbers and so forth. So we know that a lot of our diagnostic information is going to be here under troubleshooting and function structure. So that's where our ABLs, that's where our system descriptions our SSPs, uh, all of that information was located. What about other procedures though? We know that ABLs are procedures, but where do I find ABLs for things like taking it out of transport mode or maintenance type things? What if I need to tell the system that I put in a new set of brake pads? What if I need to reset the oil uh, uh, change a uh, light and, and indication information. All of that information is not going to be in troubleshooting. It's still under vehicle, vehicle management, but it is here under service functions. Okay, so very similar to function structures, it breaks it down into the different categories. 
so let me back up just just so we're we're clear on this under troubleshooting and function structures this is where I found diagnostic ABLs and diagnostic information moving over from troubleshooting to service functions here is where I'm going to find information concerning maintenance or other initializations um, customization or anything of that ability so let's go ahead and click on maintenance and pre-delivery check okay now I could drill down with the with the plus uh, sign but I just wanted to click on that to give a, an idea of what type of information we were looking at so it comes up with ABLs now of course I'm not going to be able to access these ABLs uh, at least the ones that are grayed out other ones I can access but it's also giving me different fubs concerning uh, uh, for instance delete transport mode this is something that's done during the PDI process let's take a look at that here it's going to give me information I need to know when it comes to deleting transport mode and then of course the ABL for setting or deleting transport mode is right there as well so I can navigate to these even without being connected to a vehicle now regardless when it comes to being connected to the vehicle I can navigate through these different tabs all the same but remember guys is that if I'm looking for diagnostic information it's going to be under vehicle management troubleshooting and function structure if I'm looking for information that's going to be about initialization or calibration it's going to be ABLs and FUBs and information under service functions so let's sum this all up we started here without the vehicle we were able to click on cases and then go to type code here in type code we utilized that vehicle code from the VIN and then displayed the information now remember the vehicle information is not going to be complete simply because we're not connected to a vehicle but then we skip to the vehicle management tab and under troubleshooting and function structure is where you're going to find ABLs, FUBs, and uh, EBOs concerning diagnostic information. If searching cold, of course, we can go to text search. Remember putting intake in there? And then also here under filter, if you don't remember the name of information types, there it is along with their acronym right there. Okay, we also took a look here under vehicle management at service functions. Under service functions is where we're going to find ABLs, FUBs, SSPs concerning vehicle initialization and calibration. Okay, so that just about sums it up. This information is available without being connected to a vehicle and can be very useful if you have some time to go ahead and, and, and uh, search around. It becomes very useful if you have not familiarized yourself with super information and you've got a vehicle coming in soon. So uh, if you have any questions or anything of that nature, feel free to comment down below or uh, uh, offer any sort of questions. Thanks a lot.